From a long time ago, in a place far away, starts now on my story I have here today, of the sweetest of girls, with the kindest of hearts, with the biggest of dreams, but she only saw part. Marguerite told her friends, a dog, three birds, and a rat she named Rat. I love playing my horn, and, and that is just that. I'll play in my room or any old place. To blow and to blow brings a smile to my face. But her old Uncle Earl had his own thoughts on this. Stop wasting my time and tend to your biz. And the business he meant was to work in his shop. To sell slimy fish. What's that? I'm sorry. How many of those do you want again? While her cousin just talked. Okay, you know what? I just don't even, even begin to understand why. There's just things that just I, It's indubitably something that... Marguerite did her job with fumbles and flail. She struggled and bumbled while scraping the scales. But her birds and her rat and her dog, oh, they frowned. Well, they knew she was better than where she was now. Then a big gust of wind blew a blustery blast with a magical paper that almost flew past. Well, almost, I say, because it stopped there instead and wrapped itself right round the old hound dog's head. And there on the sheet was as bold and as grand. Warning, a leader to come lead our band. As quick as the gusts, in the shop flew her friends with a flyer in beak. They knew she could win. But a rat and a dog and three birds on the feet caused a riot and ruckus and a women's stampede. In the swirl and emotion, before she could act, Earl towered over her and was on the attack. And taking one look at the flyer, there he glowered. You're planning on leaving at this very hour? No, no, Uncle Earl, it's not what it seems. Her cousin, no help, saw the rat and she screamed. <coughs> enough is enough. It's time that you know. Girls don't play music. This thing has to go. Please, please, Uncle Earl. Meg begged with regret. Yet he wouldn't listen and took her little cornet. So lost and so helpless, her hope disappeared. Not even her friends brought her any cheer. But that's when I came and brought her the news. Marguerite, don't lose heart. It's me. I'm your muse. If he told you no, your dream is not dead, go out in the world and try there instead. May crept to his room while Earl did not look, and the dog fetched the horn, and the way it was took. Marguerite joined the crowd at the club where they stood. Excuse me, pardon me. As they watched Red play piano. And boy, he was good. Her confidence drained. I saw the girl shake. To try not at all would be a mistake. I cheered her on and her fear soon would pass. But Red saw her there and he was aghast. A girl cornet player. <laughs> Don't be absurd. Go play with your dollies. Jazz is a boy's work. Meg mounted the stage with her shoulders on, Carol. Afraid that she was just by being a girl. But then she started to blow. 
And boy, could she play. She literally blew the charges away. But that wasn't all. There was still more to go. Come back for the final and you'll do a show. Contestants were chosen the best of the best. It was Rockery Red and a few of the rest. I look a wreck in my apron and slacks. You all wait here and I'll be right back. Then she left them to wait at the club where they sat. Except for her sweet little stowaway rat. But while getting her dress, and the worst thing occurred, her cruel Uncle Earl blocked her away with his words. Just what do you think you are doing here, girl? I told you that horn's not for you. Poor Marguerite tried with a scared little voice to tell him. It just isn't true. But Earl wouldn't stop. He thought he was right. And so he continued to say, You know in your heart you cannot win. In fact, you'll fall flat on your face. And right then and there, she bought his cruel lie. Instead of believing maybe, the fears in her head drowned the hope in her heart and told her, I'll never be free. Then her old Uncle Earl smiled his cold and cruel smile by turning and closing the door. And her cousin, she laughed while Marguerite sat all alone without hope on the floor. Oh, sweet Marguerite, don't give up your hope. Remember your dream just to play. Whether here or there matters not where, don't let them take that joy away. Though people might say you're destined to fail, remember this one little speech. There's magic in just keeping on with the thought that your gift is what makes you unique. And just like that, I finally knew that I was destined to play. So I took my horn and I stood and I blew the sweetest of sounds on that day. The best and so pure was the song for herself while playing her own serenade. Stop it! Stop it! Earl pound and scream. He hated that she had found new strength to dream. friend brought hundreds of rats. They poured in the store and streamed down the stairs and Earl and his daughter were caught unaware. They opened the door and said, Marguerite, free! Take your horn and your rats. Just please leave us be. As quick as a flash, Meg went back to the stage where Red had just finished and got his hurrahs. With her head then held high, and without a care, Marguerite raised her horn to her lips and she shared. <laughs> the one was obvious, the crowd, they were wild. And Red turned away while Marguerite died. Right then, I was proud of my meat prodigy. But that's when she even blew this music. Please stop! She called Red and sang with grace. I need a pianist if you want the place. <laughs> keep hoping, keep striving, no matter what seems to tell you, stop trying to follow your dreams. 
And if you start feeling those doubts and those fears, just think of this story that I've told you here. <laughs> Now, if you take the A train to Old Harlem Town in the faraway magical land, you will find there each night, six days a week, Margaret blows in front of her band. <laughs>